Welcome back to Living in the Heart of Virginia. By the way, I want to take a moment just to thank you very much for all of your comments, feedback, and suggestions. If you'd like to write us, you can certainly do so. It's LHOV at WSET.com. I certainly look forward to, uh, to hearing from you. And it's always great to meet you out in public as well. I uh, really appreciate it. Somebody asked me the other day, I think it was at Sears, I believe. And they can, doesn't that bother you when people come up and say hi to you? And absolutely not. In fact, I kind of jokingly said, you know, if people didn't recognize me out in public, nobody would be watching. Thankfully, you are. And one of the reasons you're watching is because of the wonderful guests we have on the show and uh, the great things we get to talk about. Uh, let me introduce to my far left gentleman who's been on the show before, Tulane Patterson. He is president of Generation Solutions. He has brought with him today Martha Ann Gilliam. She is a certified mastectomy fitter. And uh, good to see you, Tulane. Thank Martha, you. thank you for being here. Thank now, you. is it Martha or Martha Ann? What do you prefer? Martha Ann. Martha Ann, okay. Um, Tulane, let me go ahead and start off first with um, Generation Solutions as an overview. We've talked a lot about it many of the issues that involve senior citizens these days, uh, trying to stay home longer, right. those kinds of right. things. Um, but the care that you can provide extends beyond that, because we might be talking in the case, for example, of a woman who is a cancer survivor, yeah. maybe a young woman in her yeah. 40s. Well, you know, our, our mission is to help seniors stay at home. And we provide um, an integrated program where one phone call to our company can get them help and equipment and a multitude of services. So that's the key is that one phone call makes it simple for family. But we've also found as, as a company that also considers itself a ministry that there are ways that we can help families beyond the seniors. And um, Martha Ann brings that, that aspect to the company through her uh, work as a mastectomy fitter. Well, Martha Ann, let's, let's start off first with a uh, definition, if you will. What is a certified mastectomy fitter? That just means that I have been to class and learned how to fit a woman properly mm. And a great deal of women, women that don't have cancer, yeah. wear the wrong size bras. And we've yeah. heard a lot about that lately. But I've been to classes and passed a test mm -hmm. and learned how to actually fit a woman in a proper fitting yeah. bra. What is it, you know, what are the things that you think makes this, this aspect of Generation Solutions, because it, it, it encompasses so many wonderful programs, what is unique about this aspect and what you do? Um, one thing, I think that it's, it's um, unique to our company is I go to the home. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, a woman who's had a, a diagnosis of cancer has been dealt a terrible blow mm -hmm. and you know, her family as well. And it, it's just important to make her as comfortable as possible. And so I will go to the home and fit her in her home where she is comfortable. And um, I've been licensed and certified right. to, to actually fit the bra correctly. Right. But not only that, I got a master's of counseling at mm -hmm. Lynchburg College here. So um, these women may be experiencing fear, mm. anger, um, depression, yeah. and all these are normal emotions. So it helps to have someone that's compassionate. Yeah. And, and I've also had my own share of physical problems. I had scoliosis mm. as a child, and I've had several surgeries for that, So, which is a spinal curvature. Yeah. Actually, I'm taller than you, Tab. Yeah. <laughs> you straight <laughs> out. <laughs> So you have so so you have that relationship. One of the things that fascinates me, you, you talked about that uh, um, you've got a degree in counseling as well. Right. I would guess out of all the cancers that there are, breast cancer, and I'm just guessing here, is probably the one that comes with the greatest emotional baggage. I, I think so. Now I have not been through that myself, but certainly it's a disfigure, disfigurement, yeah. and um, that is something that a woman really has to deal with is yeah. losing that that breast and I went into this uh, thinking that it would be a ministry for me but I've got to tell you the women that I've met They're in going into the, they have I, yeah. they have really ministered to me they are just the bravest uh, most wonderful yeah. people it's just been a, my pleasure but is it is it difficult for women to get post mastectomy products? I mean, is there is there a stigma there? I mean, you're not going to go down to, to to your local department store and you know you know shop for these in public, I suppose. Right. One thing I found is that some women don't even know how to go about getting the bras and the prosthetics. They yeah. they don't know they're available or how to go get them. Um, years ago, when people would get these surgeries, insurance would not pay for it. Mm -hmm. And all they have to do is call Generations Home Medical, and I can come to their home. Or if they know they're going to have the surgery, I'll go to the hospital and bring them their first bra, which is really a camisole with mm -hmm. a, a more of a fluff prosthetic, yeah. not the silicone right. prosthetic. And is the, the, the process of this... Um, when you when you go into the home, kind of describe that a little bit. Uh, you, you know, uh, you ring the doorbell, woman answers the door. What is that visit like? 
it's been um, a blessing, as I said to me, and and to her, you, you get a sense of, of trust. I'll measure her with mm -hmm. um, the formulas that they've taught me. Right. And I usually keep all my products in the car. Now, if mm -hmm. I can't fit someone and deliver the product that day, we can order things and get them there within two days. But once a woman is properly fitted with clothes on, no one could tell. Yeah. And there's so many different prosthetics out there now. Women, uh, com I've heard so many complaints about the heat and the weight of a prosthetic. Yeah. For sure, you have to have some kind of compensation if mm -hmm. you've lost a breast because our bodies are symmetrical. And as you can imagine, the body will try to compensate. Mm -hmm. um, over time, if a woman does not replace that weight, once the breast has been lost, you, you develop a concavity right. and an inward turning of the shoulder. So it's important to get the weight there. But the older, heavy silicone prosthetics can be, especially if the bra is not fitting properly, mm -hmm. they can feel weighty. And in the summertime, they can feel heavy. Mm -hmm. And with a woman going through menopause, then you've got sweaty oh, yeah. added to that. And we've got products that are whipped silicone that are like 30% lighter. There's a new one that's out this month that actually cools the chest wall area. Wow. There's a, a new type of uh, patented gel yeah. that's enclosed in the, the skin side of that prosthetic. That is really neat. And it just, wick, and you can put it on your hand, you can feel the heat go away. So it's, I'm excited about some of the new things yeah. to help. Martha, and I wish we had so much more time because there's a lot, I have got a whole list of questions in the back of my mind, but we'll maybe have to save those for next time or okay. very simple phone call to find out more All about right. uh, this aspect of Generation Solutions. Thank you both of you very much Thank for you. coming in and Thank sharing you. that info. Appreciate it. Generation Solutions, of course, they have offices in Lynchburg and in Roanoke, which by the way, in the coming weeks, we're going to visit the Roanoke office and learn about uh, services there and wonderful people serving there. GenerationSolutions.net. We have more for you on LHOV. It's next.